Hi mom, uh, how's your day? <laughs> so my car broke down this week. So I get to freaking hike to class because Andrew is on the trip today. And of all days, it is like downpouring. It's super windy. This is the trail. My house is like way down there. <laughs> and you know, the hike up I thought was like bad because I had all my camera gear from class that I had to take back so I was like hiking with a giant tripod and I was like sweating and it was hot and rainy and now all of a sudden it got cold and it's rainy and so windy <laughs> it is so cold I miss my car the alternator died on it this week so it is just sitting in the parking lot oh my gosh this is brutal. I don't know how people walk to class on a regular basis. Hike to class. Look at this. This is an actual hike to class. If you live in my neighborhood, you usually hike to class if you're a student, but my mom was nice and I got a parking permit because of her, so I don't have to walk to class. But then when your car breaks down, then you do. And I don't know why I'm even wearing earbuds. I can't even listen to music while I'm recording. <laughs> I'm like dripping wet right now. So this is just my life. This path is like pretty narrow. I came prepared obviously and wore my best hiking shoes. Yeah, part of me is very scared that I'm just gonna like topple down to the bottom. Of course, that would save me a lot more time. At least on the way down, I'm not worried about getting lost. Cause on the way to class, I was worried. Okay, the wind died down a little bit, not the rain. So I was like soaked on the way to class from walking this from sweat. And it was like sprinkling, wasn't that bad. But now I'm soaked going home because of the rain. I love my life. Never in a million years when I lived in Nebraska, I was going to school. Like, did I think I would be in this position? In Nebraska, there's no hills. You don't have to climb a freaking mountain to get to school. And here, I'm literally going on a hike to get home right now. Can you even believe? And no one here thinks it's that weird. Like, I, when I first moved here, I was like, whoa, kids were literally wearing hiking boots to get to class. That's weird. But now, like, I see why. This is freaking steep. It's an actual hike. I was about to say, like, oh, the rain's kind of dying down a little bit, but no. This is going to take me, like, eight years to get down these steps because I'm so worried about slipping. They're very slippery. Good thing I wore my hiking shoes, though. Such good traction. AKA, these are Vans skater shoes from the men's section because I thought they were cute. So I still bought them. Hopefully don't fall into this little creek thing. Make it across the bridge. We'll see. That's part of why I'm recording this. So there's documentation if I fall to my death, which would be very unfortunate, but you never know in these treacherous conditions. Oh. And this is the part where I almost got lost last time. Like, do I go that way? Do I go that way? Am I supposed to go up? Luckily, I chose going up on my way. I'm a very uh, directionally challenged person, so um, it would not be a surprise if I actually did get lost. I am so soaked right now. I almost didn't put on my jacket to do this because on the way up I got really hot in this but it's gotten much colder also these aren't even real steps it's just like rocks lined up which are also you guessed it they're very slippery Utah life am I right living the hashtag dream for some reason my car always breaks down and like I have to walk home on the days that it's raining. I literally am having a hard time seeing because of all the water that keeps dripping in my eyes right now. Well, we are nearing the bottom. If you made it to the end of this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. 
and subscribe. The more thumbs up I get, the more proof that I actually did make it to the bottom of this mountain hill thing. Thank you for watching The Unfortunate Life of Airtie. I'll see you next time. Bye.